Hello everyone, this is Rob again, Rob Silva, uh, it's nice to see you guys again. Um, today we're going to create an Alembic object, um, an Alembic animation and transfer the animation into Cinema 4D. Um, so let's just dive in and, and, and it starts, just um, subscribe to the channel uh, so you can keep yourself uh, posted of um, the videos. Uh, mostly Cinema 4D and um, Unity. All right, great. I'm um, just going to start with the prefab. It's going to be a very basic Alembic animation. Um, cool. Just going to start with the cube. Um, right there. What I'm going to do with this cube, I will... Um, I mean, you can do so many things with that, but what I will do, I will... Um, gonna use the poly fx um, tool slash effect I'm gonna make that tools um, usually the purple tools um, is always a child of of anything if you wanted to, to to make that work so as a child of it I'm gonna come to transformed and uh, everybody can see that um, I got some some fun things. I didn't even need to make my object a editable object, uh, but I already can have fun. Again, it's always, it always starts. Uh, the animation is already uh, all the frames start with 90 frames already. All the animations, um, and I'm gonna go ahead um, select the the two. And I will um, record zero degrees in the first frame. I'm gonna put it to my last frame and I'm gonna record it to um, 360. And if I play right now, I already can see that it nicely, um, those parts rotate. I also can even um, add, uh, I will not add the materials because I, all that can be added into Unity. Um, and uh, I'm gonna click on Window. I'm gonna go to my timeline. Uh, actually, let me just animate a little bit more of this. Actually, I'm gonna select the cube. I'm gonna go to Coordinates. And I want this to rotate like this. So let's go to zero again. My first frame, I'm gonna um, record a frame. I'm gonna go to 90 and 360. I'm gonna record a frame as well. So now I have my animation pretty nicely rotating. The problem again is that the animation stops right on my last frame and it starts again. And what we want is a continuous uh, loop. So I'm gonna select the cube. I'm gonna go to window, F curve, and you already can see that's a huge curve here, and uh, this is supposed to be continuous, and to make this continuous, I'm gonna select, uh, let me see, um, here, it's actually does not show, let me, um, let go right here. So as you can see, I was here on F curve, I need to go to dope sheets here, select it, um, select the cube and just click on this. Let me double right there. That's good. Now is this completely continuous. So remember to go here. Okay. Otherwise our animation is going to keep stopping. Cool. Now if I play, what's going to happen is there is a continuous movement and I stop. It pause in my last frame. Cool. All right. So what makes the Alembic um, animation differently than those basic animations is that this two slash effect here, um, these objects will only be animated in that form if it has this two slash effect. So if I transfer this animation to Unity right now, Unity will not recognize this tool. And um, there in Unity, we will need to download a package that recognize this to slash effect. Um, okay, so the first thing that we, uh, you will do after you create your animation, you're gonna 
select the prefab and you're gonna click with the right button and then you're gonna come all the way down here and you're gonna click bake as alembic and delete if you just bake as an alembic you're just gonna bake and will create a copy of what you already have of your object animated object but i want to bake as an alembic and delete it um, i don't want to copy so i just um, click and bake and they'll, they'll find a place to save a file and right now it's baked what is it what, what, what baking as alembic do is it sort of um sort of like combine all the frames uh, into one uh, that's what it do it didn't do here but um, you can um, these are usually baking as alembic is very good um, for large um, very heavy animations uh, because you can access the animation through the timeline without having glitches cool all right, so it's baked as an alembic, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my animation is perfectly working. I'm gonna go to export, and you need to uh, export this alembic object as alembic here, which is A B C. So click A B C. Um, I don't I don't have a camera here, so I don't need the camera. Subdivision surfaces you can leave it animations everything is fine i have a 90 frames um, and that's kind of pretty much cameras we have all that in unity okay so i'm gonna click okay um, here is my i'm gonna put super cube name it a super cube and i'm gonna just save in my desktop okay cool right there now um i will see you in unity in a second all right, everyone, let's get down to business and let's um, add that Alembic object into Unity. All right, so I'm just gonna go to my desktop, gonna just drag and drop the object here. Here I have um, <clears throat> the Alembic object, the ABC object. Um, so first thing that I'm going to do is um, you need to go to package manager and uh, you need to go to um, unity Regist registry and type alembic and as you can see there is this package here and you need to download this package this package is from February 2 2022 from last year which is a really new package um, so just install this package um, and you'll be able to see um, the icon or your file here very nicely all right cool um, second thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just get the file I'm gonna drop here as you can see in my scene I have the file very nicely there um, I'm gonna just um, Add the file a little bit up. Like that, that would be really nice. Um, you can see better. And next, what I'm gonna do, so you can see that's a lot of little file, Olympic objects, a lot of little, uh, there's a mesh, uh, there's two sort of animation clips there, one for time and one just for frames. Um, all right, cool. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I will go to assets, create, and I will go to timeline. So here is a timeline. I'm going to get this timeline and I will drag this, tram this timeline straight to super cube here. Actually, uh, let me add this first on the hierarchy yep I just add in a hierarchy and then I'm gonna add on the super cube and you can see that's a green plus sign just show here on my timeline I'm gonna click twice in a timeline I'm gonna come to this plus button and I'm gonna add a lambic track uh, let me 
me just double check here. Everything's fine. Cool. Yep. I'm gonna go ahead. Um, this is very important. Okay. Really make sure take notice of that. Select new timeline. So you're gonna see that all the buttons here got white. If you don't if you don't have uh, the button selected, the button is not very clear. So select. Um, New timeline, very important that, you, that you, you follow this, okay? And then you're gonna come to the plus sign and you're gonna add a limbic track. Um, then go come to this three buttons, the three dots here and add from the limbic stream player. What this is gonna do is they're gonna go inside of your, um, your alembic file which is the only one here and um, you're going to select this super cube here this object and you're going to add it lastly what you're going to do is you're going to come to here post extrapolate animation extrapolation and you're going to click in loop okay if your animation needs to loop and so let's see what we got here um, here you can try as well as you can see the animation is working but we're gonna come to the game view and let's see what's going on so when i click play here my object plays and pause we need to figure out why it's pausing um, so i'm just gonna go back um, there is um, i select timeline here there is another loop wrap mode here. I'm going to change it to loop the, on the player director. And we're going to see if you will continue looping continually. Great. So that's how you add a Alembic object um, into units. So hope you guys have some fun. Uh, reach out if you have any question. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and uh, I see you later.